need a ruler, sticky tape, pen or pencil, string, duct tape, cardboard, scissors, and straw. Also a good hard table. Not one of, not much about hard because more, most are actually pretty hard. So I've already started here, but we're basically we're basically drawing a box. So we have to draw a box there. Draw a box. And then we've drawn the four fingers. Some might be taller than each other, we can adjust them while we're cutting. And yeah. Now I'm going to use a big sheet of cardboard. It's going to be looking like this. Very aesthetic if you ask me. I mean, very functional if you ask me, not that aesthetic. The whole purpose, you know those um, claws like in arcade games? Basically the exact same as those, just not controlled by um, electronics. By itself. By straw. I mean string. So yeah, that's basically what I've drawn. Outline. Measurements are 12 centimeters height and three centimeters width and then we have creases here because we have one two three here on our fingers so when our fingers move like this they don't you could say hurt each other so basically it's more easy to move so you got one two three which is about i see it's three centimeters apart even as possible and yeah now the only thing we need to do now well we first have to cut it and we have to see how this goes so just cut out what you've drawn Try to get big scissors too because cutting cardboard is pretty hard with small safety scissors. See, I'm using a Prestige stainless rusty free inox scissors used for kitchens, so they're pretty sharp. That's me. Anyway, keep cutting. Trying to get that box clear shape, if you ask me. And with all the remaining cardboard, you can use it later. It's in my other later YouTube videos. Also, remember to comment if you want any questions. Because I'm always open to anything. Cardboard fish area. So keep cutting. Try to be as fine as possible. Remember, it's not all about the like how beautiful it is, the aesthetic value. It's all about functionality. You can make it beautiful by just like just adding, like removing those crease marks. It's helpful for me because I visualize. I visualize the pictures. I visualize this in my head, but. See not the best in cutting. I'll show you later. It's very even. <laughs> so, at the end of all this, it should end up looking like this. Cut out, ready to put the straws and string in. Not the best. Okay, I remember to adjust it, like just cutting off all those tips. Because they might be um, not even, uneven. Okay.
start cutting, I mean, start string and scrolls. So, what are you doing is try to make as small as possible to fit these. Also, remember to make creases, so let's make some creases. You know, pen won't make any creases, you have to do it on a ruler. So, you're just gonna, just gonna do this. That's one crease right there. Try to mark it. Because one crease right there. And then let's make another crease. Right there. Boom. Three ish. So let's start doing the straws. Okay, so I do it still. Remember, remember making it as small as possible. Okay. You can see that there's three straws here. One, two, and three. I love to use a sticky tape too. We use a duct tape. When we're near to the finish, halfway there. Let's do this. So you put one there, like so. One straw there, stick it down. Another straw. Try to use a strong stick tip as you can. The stronger the better. Another one right there. Absolutely small one. Right about. You can experiment with two because they might need a lot. Let's start that. Decrease there. Just breaking it out. Obviously our, our fingers can't do this. Our fingers can't bend back all the time. Okay. Now the hard part. Putting string. Be careful when you're using scissors too. Don't cut your hands off. This is about the height. Like about... It is around 27 centimeters. Yeah, 27 a box, mentally. So, remember, um, to make it fine tip, put in your mouth. The front part, clean in your mouth. I'm putting it through, like so. Try to make it straight because it's an advantage if you make it straight. Ta da! So now this is where the duct tape comes in. You have to flip it over and the string from the other side comes through. Yeah, gently like that. And then you get the big boy duct tape or big girl duct tape. The heavy duty duct tape sounds better. Not too much, because you don't want to make it too heavy. <laughs> so, put it like this. And just fold it on the other side, like so. 
And hey, Bristol. Perfect. Easy. And also, before anything, we have to make a hole in the middle. Well, sort of a hole to get all the string in. So I'll just go back through there. And ta da! That's one finger. Say hi. Once you get done, we are more to go. After you've finished all three sides, you should end up looking like this. So, if you want to, you can add some of the sticky tape because it might rip off, but. What about aesthetic value? See? You see a top view of this, and then you can see how actually good it is. So we're nearly done, and yeah, looks pretty good. So we've done two now, and that's pretty good. So remember to like, subscribe, and comment below. And yeah, thanks for watching. Bye.